Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw this gasket. I saw somebody asking about this on a forum somewhere, on oh, this particular gasket. So I thought it's a, probably something that's um, good to show how people to draw. Uh, we're not going to trace it, like I, I've shown in other videos. We're actually going to draw this because we actually have the proper dimensions. Now it's in inches, I'm just going to go with what it's at. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that's 3 inches long. So I'll just click anywhere, move that. Um, oh, and let's zoom extents, here we go. Alright, so basically what I just did then was L for line, uh, click anywhere, um, and then move the mouse in the uh, direction you want to go. Um, if it's not going straight like that, press the F8 key on your keyboard, okay? And then move the direction you want, and then type 3, okay? So, now we've got that. I'm probably going to do the, the circles. So we've got here um, that the diameter is uh, 0.5. So I'm going to draw a circle. So C for circle. And I'm going to click at the end here. Now, I've got snaps on. And if yours aren't on, you can press the F3 key. So that's, I haven't got them on now. If I press F3, they're on. Um, and you want to snap onto there. Now with the circle, it's going to ask us for the radius of the circle or the diameter. We're going to type D for diameter, press a space or enter, and then we'll do 0.5, okay? And we're gonna have four of those, so I can just move this one, I can move a copy of it, so CO for copy, select the object, press space, then from center to here, okay? And then I can just escape out of there. And we've gotta move them up two as well. So what I can do is I can select both of these, I can, left click on the middle of that circle so now it's a hot grip and you'll notice down here it's a stretch so if I press the space bar it'll allow me to move that but I don't, I don't want to just move it I want to move a copy of it so here I can select copy or type C for copy and then space bar move it in the direction you want and then we'll type 2 okay so we've got our four circles there and I'm just having a look here about this outside area. Um, best way to go about drawing that. So it looks like there's an offset there of uh, 0.75 when we get that, when we work out what that is. So it appears to me, just having a good look around, that if we leave that three there, uh, yeah, it's not a lot of information on there. We could, we can still do it. Um, would have been easier with a few more dimensions, but um, okay, so it's a bit of thinking required here because um, it would have been great if um, <laughs> they put dimensions at exactly where these center points are for this radius. So in this drawing here, the R means radius. So this is a radius of a circle here. And obviously uh, here it's just got the diameter, but uh, yeah, so that's a radius. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna draw a radius now of three. So I'm gonna draw a circle. C and click anyway for now. Type R first for radius and then press 3. Okay, so that's that's actually the shape of um, of that radius here. So we're going to trim this at some point and that's the radius that we're going to use. And then we've got the other one at 0 0.56. So we'll do another circle. I'll do it in the center here. And R for radius and then 0.56. I believe I've got that right. Yes, okay. Now, we know that we've got, um, now I'm gonna assume by looking at this drawing, it doesn't quite look centered. See, it's a, it's not the greatest drawing in the world, I must say. Okay, uh, to be honest, looking at it, it's gonna be a little bit of guesswork because as much as I have a dimension here, this offset of 0.75, uh, if these circles were sitting in the middle, that would be easy, but you can clearly see that they're not. It looks like this is about two thirds from here and about a third there, but that's, a, that's an estimate, so. I'm going to assume that that's, uh, say, 0.5 um, to the center. So I'm going to offset. So offset, O for offset, press space or enter, 0.5. And I'm going to come down. And I've, what I've done is I'm assuming, so I've got the line going through here, which are my circles here. And I've come offset uh, 0.5 this way. So I assume if I offset 0.25 the other direction, offset 0.25. Okay, all right, so it might be correct. Looks like it touches, yeah, okay. 
and this radius here of 0.5 I'm not sure if that's actually just put to the circle there or if it's actually showing that area there yeah, it's, as I said it's not the greatest drawing in the world um, let's go back to it for a moment so looking at that I'm just trying to work out where this center of this uh, circle might be and I think it might be 0.25 so I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to offset 0.25 and this is our other circle and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to draw a line between here and here so right between these tangents of this circle and that way I can draw a center point right there and then I'll know to move my um, circle right there and I think that that let's get rid of that stuff for a minute so I think that that part there might be correct and I'm going to make an assumption here that's a 0.25 offset as well at the circle so if I offset the circle 0.25 and 0.25 I think where these um, combined should be should be correct maybe uh, so look so that would come up there and yeah, it doesn't look quite right uh, yeah there's something not quite right, right there so what I'm gonna do is delete those offsets and it's gonna offset from here to um, uh, here it's a little bit better and uh, I still think that that should come down to about there all right so I'm just grabbing the grip and dragging it to there all right so what we're going to do is trim so it's going to draw a line to there TR for trim select the line press space then click the bit you want to get rid of then press space and I'll select that and press delete key or okay and I'm going to trim again TR trim select that and actually I might need to trim select that and that and then I can trim it okay I think we're starting to get somewhere now it's sort of I think that's starting to look a bit like it um, as I said it would have been good to have an accurate dimension so a little bit guessing here and we'll do the same over here. I'll just draw a line uh, to here. And trim. Okay. And then I can draw or copy this line. So one way you can do it is select the line, left click on the grip, and then press space, and then it goes to move, and then press C, space, copy. So that's, an, that's one way to copy. I'll just undo that. And the other way is obviously just CO for copy. CO, press space. Select the object, press spacebar, select from the point you want to go from to the point you want to go to. And there we go. Oop, I've actually gone a little bit too under. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from the set from the midpoint of this line up. T up a trim. I'm going to trim off all this and then delete that line. Then what I can do is select all of this. And it looks a little funny to be honest. Um, what is it? Yeah, it looks a little off. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to do a, a line to the middle of that. And I'll get rid of these two bits. And I'll select all that. Okay. Left click, press the space bar. So you're down at the bottom here. Space bar again. Space bar, space bar. So now mirror. But I'll make a copy of that. So C for copy, press space. And there we go. And that's what I was going to do on the other side too. I was just going to grab all that, select that, go through to mirror, C for copy. And there we go. All right, so let's have a look. It's sort of, yeah, it's sort of what we got. I think that's pretty, pretty close. And now what I can do is I can offset 0.75. And actually, you know what? I'm going to escape out of that first because these aren't all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to join them. So I can type J for join, and if you select on a line, uh, or a, uh, it'll ask you if you want to turn it into a polyline, but I'm just going to select all of these, and uh, hopefully they join, and then press space, and now they're one polyline. So that means now when I offset, uh, I don't know where that went, well I'm not sure where that's just gone to, it doesn't seem to like the... Um, 
the offset by the looks of things. Uh, that can sometimes happen with offsets. Um, it might be to do with these tight corners that it can't offset the point five, the seven fives and enough room for it. So that's why it's doing that. Uh, it's probably because the shape, as you can see, the shape of the internal shape is totally different to the outside shape. So I think that's why the offset's not happening by looking at it. So if I, if I test it, let's go 0.1, I'm pretty sure it'll offset. Yeah, so that's what it is. That 0.75 is just too much for it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw another line here and I'm gonna move that line up 0.75, All right. Now, what do we got? So I'm gonna assume from the center of these circles here, from there to there, that's 0.5. So if I draw a line, from here to here and offset 0.5. I should be able to bring this to about here. Um, doesn't look quite right. Um, so I'm gonna assume that's 0.75 to there. But it looks a little closer than there. So, so let's assume, well, I'm gonna draw a line. Let's assume that the line goes 0.75 from the center of the circle. Actually, I think it's point Five. We'll come back. 0.25. All right. So 0.5 from here, from this point to this point, 0.5. So what that means now is, if I draw a line where this circle intersects, and I'll select that and the line, I can now select all that and move it to there. All right. And it's starting to look a bit better there now, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Extend Command. So E X, press Space or Enter. Select the line, press space. Okay. So that's sort of um, what we've got going on there. I know that the curve, yeah, I can move this back in here. I know that there's a curve there, which it doesn't show the radius for, but not that I can see. So I'm going to assume uh, that it's 0.25. Just looking at it by eyeballing it, it, look, it might be about 0.25. So I'm going to offset that. 0.25 and we'll see what happens. Okay, it looks a little a little off there. Um, yeah, I'm not really clear on what that angle might be. Even if it is, it might not be a radius. It might just uh, so to be honest there, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do there. I've um, I'll just pause the video for a second, so I'm not sure how much I just uh, missed of me doing something there. I, basically I just moved this over uh, by stretching it. So using the stretch command. So S for stretch. And I have a feeling that I've missed all that. Um, and basically what I was doing was stretching out this stuff. So 0.25 to try and get it to look a bit more like that one, but it just doesn't look right at all. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just like the dimensions. So, all right, so I'm just going to fill it this time, F for fill it, and I'll make the radius, and then zero. Um, I could try and radius these things, so fill it, radius, and then say perhaps 0.75, and we'll see what happens. Well, that doesn't look too bad. And then what I can do is select a line here, let's grab that. And this, and this, and mirror again, copy over. Now I can clean up all these lines. Oop. And what I can do is I can join them. So J for join. And I've missed one there. And there it's one polyline. That's a polyline, and we have that now. I know it's not 100% accurate. In fact, uh, I can already tell something's not centered here because there seems to be more gap here, <coughs> excuse me, and then on this side. So I'll draw a line from, I think that's a center. Yeah, so I think wherever I took it from before with this thing, that's didn't get it in the center or something. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this and then mirror copy. Still very close together. So 
I have a feeling perhaps this is not centered with this object here. Draw a line here. Yeah, that's what the problem is. It's not centered. Okay. All right, so I'll mirror that. Mirror copy. So that looks a bit better now. And just again, join, shape a join. It's all one polyline. So that's the, uh, that's the gasket. So yeah, um, <laughs> I wish there was a little bit more dimension on there, but that's how I'd go about it. So hopefully you learned something from that video. Um, yeah, so I didn't go as smoothly as I was hoping because um, I didn't realize these dimensions were missing. But uh, anyway, if you have any other requests for things you'd like to see how to draw, um, just let me know and I'll make a video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you like this video, have a look at a couple of other videos I currently have. One is how to draw a site title boundary in AutoCAD. And the other one, which is probably my most popular video, is how to import an image, scale it to draw a car.